Today I am going to talk about the latest design tools and trends that are coming into uh, UI design tool and user experience design tools and one of them is really right now very popular which is Envision Studio or Envision uh, by Envision app and few others are emerging like Phase I have just seen the early access for Phase tool uh, I think they have uh, something similar to the workflow uh, of your design and combining the workflow and design together okay also in Vision Studio, they have combined the animation, collaboration, uh, design versioning, all these uh, uh, these features in one uh, design tool. Okay, so you can save your documents online. You can collaborate with your team. You can uh, change the versions. So simultaneously, like 10 designers can work on a same file. So this is a lot big uh, project. I think they were. Uh, due in February they were due to release their first release in February but I think they are delaying it because they are maturing their product and they are making testing it with a lot of designers and uh, uh, I will show you uh, the both of these two websites where you can get for early access sign up for early access these are two tools that are uh, that I know of that are you know coming for the UI design or user experience design purpose so uh, let me share with you uh, what I have seen so far and you can go ahead to these websites and view what are their features and few things like that and sign up for their early access. Okay, so I'm going to switch to my uh, PC window, uh, Windows PC screen now. So let's see them. Now you can see here is my Envision Studio. Uh, which is the URL is envisionapp.com slash studio and you can request for early access. I have already done that and if you want you can view the uh, their video promo of uh, you can see here on the right side and on the left side they, it is very similar to sketch app and uh, maybe Adobe XD. Uh, I am already preparing a course on Adobe XD and I think it's a pretty damn good tool for UI design. Uh, then we have another tool you can see over here this is called phase let me go to the top and uh, digital design reinvented and a lot of things they uh, you can see here is their uh, interface and it also looks similar but you can see at the bottom if you look closely let me zoom in and if you look closely at the bottom there are timelines so it means it is going to support animations and stuff like that and uh, also you can say see that these are also integrated with javascript swift react android html custom so you can extract your design into code into any kind of code or app like swift is for ios react i think for hybrid apps android is for uh, android apps html and custom okay so these are this is a very big um, i think step towards the design they are making their layouts and everything adaptive you can see your designs you are going to design it once and it is going to adapt the screen size if you try to change the screen size of your design also you can see the libraries concept or this is basically the concept of system design or a system pattern library something like similar to that sketch has already introduced it and also I think Adobe XD has a style guide built in uh, and I think uh, that most of the UI design tools they are looking uh, for a, a system of design building a system of design rather than just uh, you know uh, design tools okay so right now I think it is a war going on between these tools and uh, I think I, I'm not sure uh, what should uh, the designers do but I am I guarantee one thing any designer who wants to be a good designer they should never ever depend on one tool okay you should learn the good skills of typography uh, color combination and uh, other techniques uh, to create a design in any software you are thrown at okay so if someone gives you sketch and show you that i need this design in three days you can learn it within two days because uh, all the design uh, softwares or apps or whatever they are they have similar infrastructure they have similar shortcuts their layout or layers system and everything is same 
you just need to learn few key things and you can uh, get started in that but if you don't know much about this design visual design and don't have a good knowledge and don't know how to apply these skills into any software whether you learn you are a master of 10 uh, design apps you cannot design uh, anything better okay so you need to keep these tips in your mind don't worry about these design tools that there are hundreds of design tools coming now uh, you just need to learn uh, to design better that's all okay so i hope you have enjoyed this video uh, if you uh, like this video uh, you can uh, comment below what you liked and where you would like to sign up there is one more uh, page you can see over here this is a 2007 survey of user experience tools and you can see these are the winners envision and sketch pencil and paper google drive and hot hot jar for monitoring your website or users and uh, the runner ups were adobe, adobe photoshop and adobe xd and figma i guess if i can show you you can see over here let me go down a bit pencil paper sketch illustrator photoshop adobe xd figma balsamic Axor, and others okay so there are different categories for wireframing the number one was sketch illustrator html css balsamic and uh, for interface design tools sketch was at the top photoshop second illustrator adobe xd figma so these are the five uh, top tools you can choose any one and you can design beautiful interfaces in any of them and uh, on windows operating system photoshop is still winning because sketch is not there for windows users and i think the next in next few years maybe one or two adobe xd or maybe envision app if they launch it well because it is for windows and mac both uh, it will win okay so let's see what where this uh, design war will end and uh, i hope you have enjoyed this lesson uh, you can comment below about your thoughts and that uh, how these design tools are going to go uh, into the war into, into this war and which one is going to win and i hope uh, i am uh, giving you the latest updates on these design tools uh, if you have any questions uh, Comment below uh, in the comment section and I hope I will try to answer your questions.